Congress gives itself a bonus in the omnibus bill. It slipped into the omnibus bill budget increases. The Senate increased its total salaries of officers and employees by 12.6 million. The House increased its budget to 1.2 billion, which is a 10.9 million increase over 2017 levels. And that bill was 2,232 pages, and it gave the lawmakers 48 hours to read and vote on that bill. Do you think that they read that bill carefully? No. No. They hardly do any work in Congress. But they believe that they deserve increases in their salaries. And you pay for it. You pay. But it is a corporation. So the CEOs and the executives, they just write their own salaries and bonuses. That's how it operates. And state and local governments, wow, they took in record numbers in terms of taxes in 2017. Income, sales, property taxes hit records, a record number. 404 billion 509 million in individual income taxes in 2017. Oh, but I posted a video just, what, two days ago on the pension crisis? We can't afford your pension. Sorry. You've got to take a cut while we take in more and more and more of your money. Do you think that this is right? Sorry for those that get all upset when I say that we allow this, but we are allowing this because so many people don't show up to vote down those tax increases and they write out their checks. They continue to write out checks, handing over money to what has become a very obvious criminal enterprise not just the federal government, but local and state governments. Obvious criminality takes place every single day. And yes, we sit and we allow it to happen. So I'm not going to back down on that. If you want to be a slave of your government and you want them to steal your money, you will take no action. If you are fed up with this, you will take action. That's how it works.